Hi, my name's Daniel Dye, also known as Coldside Digital on various forums. This is just a quick tutorial in Maya showing you how you can create your own custom shelf and add buttons to it. So this is your shelves in Maya. Um, there's a lot of preset ones, but I find that having my own shelf with all the tools that I use regularly is a lot quicker than jumping through these different shelves trying to find what I'm looking for. So I'm going to show you how to create your own shelves. Basically, see this little upside down triangle here? If you click with the left mouse button and hold down, it gives you a menu. And we're just going to go down to New Shelf. Pops up with a box saying Enter New Shelf Name. So we're just going to call it My underscore Shelf. Remembering that Maya doesn't like when you put spaces in between words. Just hit OK, and here's your new empty shelf. Now, to add objects, uh, sorry, to add buttons to it, it's quite simple. You just hold down Control and Shift. In this example, we're going to add a poly cube. So just hold, hold down Control and Shift, go Create, Polygon Primitive, Cube. And there it is, popped up in your shelf. You can do that with anything else as well. So, Polygon Sphere. There it is in our shelf. You can do that with things like delete by type history or modify center pivot and once again just adding those by holding down control shift and then selecting the object that you'd like. Uh, you can do that with windows as well so you can go just your general editor, uh, attribute spreadsheet editor or your render settings and you can do it for things like tools so under edit in the polygon submenu under edit mesh we can say extrude we can say cut faces and merge and that's how you add them to your shelf it's pretty easy you can also do it with mel commands so i've got one down here that i just wrote up quickly basically it creates a polycube with set width, height, and depth dimensions, as well as um, the subdivisions in the X, Y, and Z. So we can just select all that and click and drag that up to our shelf. Save script to shelf as type mel, because it's a mel script, so I just click that button. And there it is. If we want to add a name to it, we can simply hold, go to this drop-down menu again, go to the shelf editor, go down to our mail script under icon name we can put it as uh, big C for big cube save all shelves and there's our title added there um, you can do that with any of your mail scripts you can also change the picture so if we go back to the menu shelf editor go back down to our mail script, change the image, um, so you have all your different icons, we'll just go under cloth, Oop, nothing in there, I think all right, we'll just use one of these real flow ones, open, and that's how you change your image. Um, you can also move these along just by holding the middle mouse button and clicking and dragging to where you would like to move it to change the order around and you can delete them from your shelf by middle clicking and dragging over to the garbage bin over on the right there. You can also delete out the entire shelf by going down making sure that you're on your selected shelf that you want to delete going to the drop down menu and saying delete shelf and just hit OK. You can also change your shelves going through here so it's just different way to be able to select which shelf you're on and that's about it um, for how to create a custom shelf and add tools to it so I hope this helped you out